Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this flavor packed Uziza soup that is well balanced and delicious. And so guys, wear your apron and let's get started. To start with, we are going to steam some protein and here I have some beef and a little very small pieces of snail that I managed to get in the market due to this economy and so we are going to steam this beef until it is half cooked like some five percent cooked and I will be steaming this beef with some salt maggi and Cameroon pepper. The Cameroon pepper is to give more flavor and heat to this soup. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking the video. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support and thank you for returning. I love you guys. So after mixing all the spice together, I'm going to add a little water to allow this beef protein to cook 75% halfway but in between 15 minutes I'm going to remove the snail to maintain the crunchiness in this snail so I'm just going to give this a little bit stir and cover it and allow it to cook it's now 15 minutes I'm going to remove the snail which I will put back when the soup is already done. This is to maintain the crunchiness in the snail. This soup is going to require a thickener and for this thickener I will be using yam. So I'm going to slice, cut some slices of yam, cut them into cubes and boil them until they are soft. But if you don't have yam, you can use achi, you can use coco yam. So instead of boiling the yam separately, I'm just going to put it with the meat until it's soft, then I will remove them. And now that the meat is 50% done, I'm going to add some flavorful stockfish to this protein. I will also be adding some water to this to give the soup enough water so and I'm going to leave this to cook to a boiling point so we're going to cover this pot and allow it to cook and here I have some auguri some locust bean and yellow pepper and here I have Uziza leaf that has already been washed and cleaned in salt water and rinsed in fresh water and so I'm going to cut this Uziza leaf into tiny slices and keep it aside and now that the yam is soft and ready to remove I'm going to remove all of this put it in a blender add the scotch bonnet the yellow pepper to it add a little bit of warm water and I'm going to blend it into a very smooth paste which I will be using as a thickener for the Uziza soup. And now I'm going to add some dry fish to this. This is a head of a dry fish. And to this, I will be adding more water and to this at this point we'll be adding a little palm oil not too much just a little is okay and also at this point I'll be adding the uguri locust bean just put that in there and also at this point I'll be adding my blended crayfish I'm not going to turn this soup I'm just going to put the crayfish and cover this soup to come to a boiling point 
Now that the soup has come to a boiling point, I'm going to give everything a very good mix. Gently turn everything together. And I will be adding the yam and the yellow pepper blended mix to this soup. And I'm not going to turn it, I'm just going to cover it and allow the yam to melt. Now that the yam has melted halfway, I'm going to put the mini snails into the pot. And at this point, you can check for thickening. Make sure that the soup is not too thick and also not too watery. At this point, you can also check for seasoning. I will be adding some maggi to this because mine needs a little bit of seasoning. Also, I'll be adding the main ingredient for this soup, which is uziza leaf. Give that a very good turn. And we're going to allow this uziza to cook for five to seven minutes. This is to enable the full flavor of the leaf to come out into the soup. So we're going to give this a very good turn and we're going to cover this pot for five to seven minutes for the flavor of this uziza to come out. This uziza soup is most enjoyed the next day and it's better with pando yam or with fufu or any swallow of your choice. So the older the soup gets, the better the flavor of the uziza comes out. Food lovers, it's been five to seven minutes now and you can see the soup is all done and the flavor in this soup is busting out. I really can't wait to swallow. Guys, thank you so much for watching up to this end. I hope this video was very, very useful to you. Please drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Please like, share with your friends, share with your families. Please subscribe to my channel for more affordable and easy recipes like this. Please support your girl, support your babe, support your sis. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.